Look at this doing at my door at 8 a.m. I'm not even wearing trousers yet. I don't understand how unboxing channels do this. It's you can you can't open a box with one hand. That's crazy. Yo, my bubble wrap arrived! Hooray! <laughs> Sounds like glass. Okay, I am so scared. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Surfshark Influencer Awards. All right. Wait, is that broken? Oh no, is it broken? All right. <laughs> All right. Let me just go ahead and put this together. Good. Um. Oh no, that's so funny. And we got best acting and performance. Hey, thank you. I'll put that. With that, with with the with the other one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Dear Surfshark Influencer Awards winner. Uh, apparently there was a Surfshark Influencer Awards. I'm so thank you, thank you so much, Surfshark. Yeah, they're they're broken. Uh <laughs> other glasses. So I got wind that Surfshark uh, had done some uh, influencer awards thingy. They did a stream. And they gave us two awards. Two awards? Two awards. Uh, it's 8 a.m. One for, uh, I think, best story and one for best acting, uh, which was uh, for the torture advert. Uh, the one that was super banned and d deleted and doesn't exist anymore. Uh, but we won awards and now they're here and <laughs> they're broken and they're glass. So I don't think glue's gonna, glue's gonna do much for that one. Uh, but let's see, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it will. That's so funny. It's such a delicate little award. And uh, yeah, I think it's come from Lithuania. Lithuania. Which is quite far. Thank you, Sir Shark. That's very funny. Oh, I'm in this one. You are. All right. I made it. Oh, you're in like, you are playing some Marvel Snap in the previous month. Oh, sure. This right. is I don't, I just don't really like film when we're doing. I'm like a cam, I'm, I'm here like <laughs> three times a week and I'm just a cameo in last month. But it's because like we never fucking do anything and that's the problem. <laughs> Like we just we're just in this room sometimes doing things sometimes and that's that's been today we've written a lot of scripts I started this month this year even saying yeah I want to make a lot of stuff and we wrote a lot of scripts and then we haven't made them because I've had a crisis of confidence so we spent a day launching three videos into production because apparently sketches are like buses now yeah 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 they all come at once but it, uh, and what this basically means I've sent, I've been sending off emails to people. Being like, do you want a collab? Do you want to be in a video? And some of them might say no. It's worth a shot. We're trying to get the band back together. Thought like a joke would come from that, but it just kind of didn't. We're bad at our jobs. <laughs> 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 oh, but it's very much the like jumping in the deep end approach of just like, there you go, fucking kicked off three sketches to potentially be filmed this month. Good luck. Because worst case scenario, we only film one sketch, you know? And that's better than filming none. Yeah. Sketch. Not necessarily be released this month. No. We may hold on to it a little bit. Yeah, we may just simply not. It'll be our secret little sketch. Ooh, a little secret sketch. Yeah. Yeah, hold on to them until we got a nice bed of content and then just relaunch. Hey Jake, you want pizza? Uh, I love to make pizza. Can you kick it already? Yes, you can. Fucking hell. Sorry. Um, Boys, <laughs> boys, what have we done? Ah! Uh, <laughs> holy shit! Yeah! I hope our neighbours aren't watching. Oh my god! So what's going to happen to him? Um, fire. Lots of. Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! He's God's mistake. I can't help either of you. All by myself He's gonna be All by himself He's so sad Yeah <laughs> This is my new look mm. It's really good Spiky. Yeah I mean it could look it's a bit Richard Spencer, but you know, it's, I, I like it. So I'm back at my parents' house because I'm going to my cousin's 30th birthday party and my mom's got him loads of really nice fancy stuff, some a, a 50 pound bottle of body wash, uh, a nice crystal glass, but uh, I know what a man really wants. I know what a man really needs. 100 pound Lego gift card. Yeah, 
I'm bringing the heat. So I'm the kind of goofy guy that forgets to charge his camera before visiting his family, which means he can't really film his family for more than uh, one to two seconds at a time before the camera dies. Good job, I'm very good at vlogging. Although I gotta be honest, vlogging is hard. It's harder than it was in my 20s, because in my 20s I whip out a camera and everyone's like, ha ha camera, whoa, we're having fun. And now they're like, oh, fuck off. What are you doing, you little freak? Get my face off the fucking internet. And that is fair. The internet's awful, and I can't just be putting people on it. They don't deserve that. But either way, my cousin had a lovely birthday. He's 30 now. I remember when he was a baby. Drama. Drama happening in my family home. Drama like you wouldn't fucking believe. Someone stole all my mom's lavender. Now, you might not think that's scandalous, but someone, in the dead of night, snuck into my mother's front garden and stole all of her lavender with scissors, cut the heads off all of them. And she had a theory that maybe someone nicked them for the sake of, I don't know, doing those little lavender pouches or something. I think that's true because if they were just there to steal for the sake of provisions, why didn't they take the lavender directly next to them at their neighbor's house? That shit's personal. And I think that's great. I don't know who my parents pissed off. Uh, maybe they were walking the dog and they didn't pick up a poo-poo, but someone stole their lavender, and I, <laughs> I think that's great. What the hell? Uh, that's wild. Family's weird. One of the things I did when I was home was uh, we drove around Cambridge and the surrounding areas, because Cambridge is what I view as home. I've lived in this house for nine years, and it's still just the place where my stuff is, you know? And I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I take this show on the road at some point, head home. See if I can keep doing this from there. I don't know how that's gonna work yet, but I'm, I'm thinking about it. Cause I miss my family. I, I didn't have siblings growing up. I was an only child and my cousins were the closest thing that I had to blood. Close, fam, fr they were family. They were like family because they were family. I had 14 cousins. It was a lot. And they've all got their own lives now and their own families. And I don't know, maybe I wanna join them. What a fucking journey I'm going on. I wanted to show you how normal and boring my life was. And I just decided to go on a full ass midlife crisis and character arc. What the fuck? You look so, you look very Berlin right now, I think. I don't really want to look German. Sorry. Dude, my name is Charlie. <laughs> so over the years, I've got a concerning amount of comments saying, well, whatever happened to that girl you used to date with the pink hair? Because a lot of you have the object permanence of a fucking baby. Uh, well, I'm gonna go pick her up now, okay? Uh, so don't worry, you'll see her again. God, it's really just a lot, isn't it? <laughs> there she is. Hi. We got her back. Uh, she's pink as fuck. Well, it looks, it looks like red in this light. It does. It, 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 the camera is not picking up the, no. the color. It, it is. It, is, really it is pink. It's very, very pink. It's quality street pink. Anyway, we're dressed up. We're going on a little fancy day. We're celebrating Charlie's uh, new look. That's a thing. We're celebrating. Ooh, ooh. I want to, <laughs> I want, I'd stand on this, but I don't trust it. Oh damn! I've got the matching trousers. <sighs> She's there. I'm not gonna pick you up. You're wearing croc sandals. I am, because they're comfy and I'm like nearly 30 and I wanna be comfortable forever. I'm wearing just vans, so like I'm not much better. But hello, we're, we're, we're are we cool? Oh, are we, are we leave? Oh, I thought we would like, that was it. I was about to leave and it was like a cool thing. Oh, you can back. leave. Okay, bye then. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <sighs> I'm still not used to my new look. I'm st I haven't adjusted yet. I'm overwhelmed. Big cheers. Biggest cheers. Yeah. So good. Big cheers. This is the first time we've done this. It is. Oh shit. Um, can you stop Instagramming, please? It's actually really tacky of you. Whoa. Meeny, meeny, miny, you. A tugboat. A tu I know him from his, he has a show. It's not, I don't like it that much. <laughs> it's look, it's, it looks natural. I think it looks natural. <laughs> so last month, I went to see a production of Shakespeare. Uh, it was very cool. Uh, it was in the original Shakespearean English, so I didn't understand a fucking word of it, but you kind of pick things up from the from the performances. It's a real testament to how 
well the actors portray the dialogue because even if you don't understand it you still get it right very cool but i talked about it in the vlog and i said in that vlog that i went to see an amateur production of shakespeare so tell me why i'm surprised that within a few hours of that video going up uh, one of the actors from that troupe has commented on the video saying very nicely like hey thanks for coming glad you enjoyed it uh by the way we're we're not amateurs we're professionals because of course they're fucking professionals of course they are like the, the, technically the only difference between amateur and professional is you you get paid right and i think i use that word so subconsciously like i would consider myself an amateur filmmaker um like a, an amateur comedian and i think i just project almost insecurity with that word and i just mean like young or newer Tom Scar's law, okay? Anything you say online can and will be found by the person you said it about, and in my case, usually within 24 fucking hours. God damn it. And they left the comment saying that the, everyone in the, the group was a fan, and so they've all seen that, and they're all seeing this. I'm sorry. I don't, you are professional, you were great. I don't, I didn't mean amateur, like. <sighs> I need to shut my fucking mouth. I just need to stop talking. <laughs> Pink girl water in a pink plants with a pink pot. No, you need to pick that up. You can't? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this thing... That will snap. That will definitely snap. How the fuck? This is so heavy. Two hand jobby. <laughs> it's a what? <laughs> what is it, Charlie? Two hand jobby. Two hand jobby. <laughs> oh my god. Well, yeah, I mean, I have two hands. So do you, though. That shit is really heavy. Yeah, it is, isn't wow. it? Wow. Drink up, my lovely. So a couple years ago, I made my first and only animated story time all about uh, conventions and going to them and meeting you. And it was really fun. I really enjoyed doing it. And I think a lot of people liked it. You know, I've seen a lot of like fan art of the way that we drew me in that. And, and I just, I don't know, I, I feel like it was something worth doing more of. But then I just didn't, uh, I just didn't do more of it. And I felt really bad about that ever since. And I have wanted to do more animated story times. I've got ideas for them, but I could do one about all the times I've gotten in trouble with the law. There's some funny stories there. Um, and then I was thinking like, oh, I could do a video about like what it was like growing up on the internet in like the late 90s, early noughties, um, because it was a very radically different place. And that might just be interesting to just talk about what that was like. Highlight some of the funny, funny jokes and, and things that happened in, during that time. But then I kind of started to realize that I want these these story times to be somewhat authentic and the authentic truth about a lot of my time on the early internet was that it was like really inappropriate and I was a big dickhead. So it's like awful and horny. And you know, when you make an animated story time, you know that it's gonna be watched predominantly by younger folk. Like obviously I know that you'll probably still watch it as well, but like the younger folk and it's not really responsible or just appropriate for me to talk about that stuff you know, there, and I know that now. So I've now been thinking about doing a video about being a Jehovah's Witness, about growing up a Jehovah's Witness. And, you know, I even called my dad to just kind of like remind me of like some of the kind of fun, harmless stories. Cause that's all I wanted to do, right? Was just a like, little harmless video about like, hey, I was raised a Jehovah's Witness. You've probably heard of that. You probably don't know anything about it. So this is what it was like. And it's some funny stories of things that happened before I kind of like left when I was like 18 years old. And then I started to get really like, worried about making a puff piece because you know like i don't want to make a super negative video about being a Jehovah's witness because you know my some of my family is still in it and genuinely like i didn't have that i didn't really have those bad experiences like i know people who have had traumas and stuff to do with it but it's like that's that's not my experience so it would be inauthentic for me to, to pretend that like it fucked me up. At the end of the day, I'm a straight white man. The whole system was made for me anyway, right? So I don't want to make a hit piece, but on the other hand, I don't want to make a puff piece because, you know, it's 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 still an organized religion that still had a negative impact on plenty of people, particularly by nature of being a, a Christian religion, or most religions I don't know, it's, it, you know, it has massive issues with sexual and gender diversity. So, you know, oh, you're trans, non-binary, or you're you're gay, get the fuck out of here, right? Like, and that's not, um, I am an ally. You know, I, I'm, I'm proud of standing by in the, 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 the community and to make a video being like, oh, it's Joe's Witness, what a quirky bunch and it's all fine. And, and, and like ignore the reality that like, it's, you know, very, it's involved in this oppression. It's like, oh, but the, thing, but the thing is like, this is such a ramble, I know, but the thing is to go out and just actively criticize the religion is to become officially like an apostate is what they call it. Officially someone who's speaking out against it. And that, causes troubles you know that you know that's that's going to cause a, a divide between me and my family and i don't want to do that so it's a really awkward situation to be in because i don't want to make a puff piece but i don't want to make a hit piece 
but I feel like just making a purely neutral piece is still taking a political stance and it's ah it's like I gotta be able to I gotta do jokes and little jabs that aren't <sighs> it's tricky I don't like religion but I don't want to go to war either but I also don't want to like give jokes when it's a free pass but free pass by being like oh yeah but that's the same as pretty much any religion you know like, ah ah being socially responsible is fucking exhausting why can't I just be a prick <sighs> It was nice. It was so it, everything was so simple. You saw someone different than you. You just you bullied him. That was no. Fuck. Charlie is currently trapped in a toilet cubicle. A man is in there with a drill right now, trying to get her out. So that's fun. Finding sticks on the ground. What that is? Wow. Well. Hey Charlie, what happened to you just now? I got locked in the bathroom. Yeah, you locked yourself in the toilet, did you? I did locked myself in the well, technically. You did, didn't you? You snapped the lock off. And then a man had to come and undrill you. Yeah, you know what? I was so brave. You were texting me the whole time about how scared you were. Mmm, <laughs> lovely Thames water. Yummy, yummy London. There's a bag of rocks. We're just picking up bloody stuff. This is a bag, bag of rocks. You know what improved this? What? Thor. Pink is a difficult dog to walk because she just wants to get where she wants to go and play her ball. She doesn't realise that the pulling does not achieve anything. Hello, Miss Minky. For me? Oh my god, you shouldn't have. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> if you want to sometimes see uh, stuff from last month from other angles, you should watch Chloe's vlog. She's doing little moments for 2023 as well. It's more of the same. But from Chloe's perspective. Oh man. So I finally finished uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know if anyone else experienced this, but basically I got to where I thought was the end of the game. Like I thought the next level is gonna be the end of the game. So I went off and I did loads of side quests and I basically finished what I, you know, like I had as much fun as I was gonna have playing the game. And then I went, okay, time to do this final mission. And then I did that mission and it wasn't the end of the game. And then knowing that I had, you know, a few more hours left of game in in front of me. I just, I just, I was kind of tired and I didn't want to play. But that was like a month ago and I'm not going to let myself start any new games until I finish this one. So I've kind of had to like force myself to get back into it and, and finish the damn game. And it's great. Delightful. Loved it. But, oh, uh, I just, I, I felt held hostage by the end. I was like, I wanted, this was lovely, but I'd like to go home now. I'm, d I'm done now. Thank you, Zelda. <sighs> Charlie's brought us to some woods so she can look for mushrooms. Keep telling her that there's plenty in Tesco, but she just doesn't care. Go on then, Let's go run. Be, f be free. <laughs> go Kate Bush mode. That is that what you think Kate Bush is? Oh, Kate Bush. I thought you said Bush mode. Just regular Bush mode. Okay, Charlie, go Bush mode. Whoa, thank you, Elliot. She looks just like a Bush now. Video game characters be like, can go this way. <laughs> what if video games were in real life? Wouldn't that be a funny type of YouTube video? I think I should make a lot of those. So it listens to all the bird song happening around you and it identifies them. So I guess the ultimate goal is can you convincingly fake a bird sound? Well, they say <laughs> when you click on. <laughs> So you're flirting with that bird right now? I guess so, yeah. Wow, okay. Didn't realize that that's the kind of woman you were. Got to find the mushroom. Got to eat the mushroom. Yeah. Maybe don't eat the mushroom. No, please don't eat the mushroom. Yeah. Got to find the mushroom. Yeah. Got to eat the mushroom. Yeah. Maybe don't eat the mushroom. No, if you do, you will die. This girl really dyed her hair bright pink and keeps getting upset when bees try to pollinate her. Is she gonna go out dressed like that? <laughs> That's like a proper, like, mushroom mushroom. Yeah. What? <laughs> Thank you, Mario. So this one's poisonous, right? I think so. Let's eat it and find out. In the arms of the angel. Oh, what the fuck? This is so pretty. <laughs> what the shit? Yeah, this is why people go outside. Oh, I get it now. Mushroom. So this is like a, a 1,500-year-old defensive trench, basically from the Saxon times. They'd be like, yeah, get off my fucking land, they'd stab you with a stick. And all they were defending was some plants. So I'm currently working on this video that was supposed to be very silly. It was just gonna be a content where people sent me prompts like I'm an AI and I did those. And it was just gonna be a goofy little time, but it's turned into this kind of much bigger video now, or at least in terms of how much work I'm putting into it, because I feel like I'm trying to prove a case for humanity, almost. Because it was just going to be a seal like, oh yeah, I can write some words and I can do some pictures. But now I'm trying to prove that I can make words and pictures better. 
um, than a computer, or at least with more heart and intention and subversion of expectations and all this stuff. I am literally just trying to make a case for humanity. And even though my art is silly and not good, conventionally speaking, and my writing is, is daft, and the, the music that I'm doing is very ridiculous, I don't know, I hope that I'm making something of a point in the video. And I don't know if I'll actually make that clear in the video itself, but that's, that's the plan. That's the hope. I'm singing a song about 9-11, so I don't... Maybe, maybe I'm just lost in the fucking source. Markiplier doing a Let's Play of a gay porn game. This will go well. Hey everybody, it's Markiplier, it's Markiplier. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Swedish chef. I thought it was Johnny Bravo. Hey little mama. Chloe, you've turned 30 again. Chloe, <laughs> <laughs> you're 30. You're 30 again. This is not a good angle for me. This is not a, This is not my angle and you know it. Look at it go. This thing's going fucking crazy. Words of wisdom for from the birthday boy? Um, and then you just cut like right as well. Yeah, so. no. That'll be that'll land. Uh, and then I'll throw into the <laughs> My bit! My bit! Holy shit, that's very big. I know. I didn't know how big it was gonna be. That's too big. You don't get to see it. This is my exclusive. This is a last month exclusive. Tom's three. I'm helping. Sorry, when you put the three? Huh? Just when we put it this way. Three, four, no, how many yeah. do you want to do? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Like that? No! No, no. In there? What's wrong, Eden? It's a good thing you're here. What's wrong? Happy birthday! Yeah! Football, football, football. So today is the Women's World Cup final, and I'm not really a football kind of person. I've seen one football match in my life, and it was the women's finals of the Olympics in 2012, which I was invited to as a YouTube person because we were doing some stuff with the Olympics. However, we've made it to the finals uh, this year, so let's, let's, let's go. I've, I've re bought my TV license. We're gonna have some people over, we're gonna watch the football and hopefully win. But even if not, good job, England. Go, go girls. Lionesses. Am I doing a good job? I don't know. Silly Bobby Brown! Football's coming home, is comfortable. <laughs> um, Squidge, you don't, you live in the house. Flowies! Oh my god. Bingy! Don't be so sad. It's okay. We know you got a little fucked up lump on your head. Mary, yes. go on, Mary. Yes! Yeah! yeah! Take your headband off in shame. <laughs> so we were supposed to get pink spade last month, but that just didn't happen. Um, we had a delay due to the vet being sick, followed by pink having that weird wobbly that she had last month, and now. She's about to go back into her next season, so we have to now wait like four more months before we can finally get her spade. The issue is with that, though, there's this huge fucking lump on her head that has been growing on and off for like three years. It comes and goes. It, it, it basically seems to be like an ingrown hair or something. She, she whacked her head into something uh, a few years back and cut a little chunk out of it, and then when that healed, it just came with a little bit of a lump. It, the, the vets have looked at it. It doesn't seem to be cancerous or anything. It just seems to be something that needs removing, but they could only remove that while they're also doing her spaying. So we're now just stuck with pink on another season, bleeding all over the floor, and a big pussy lump on her head that everyone wants to pop. And I'm talking about it in this video because I know it's big enough now that people are gonna be commenting a lot about pink's weird fucking head lump. <sighs> Eddie, are you ready for the turtle chat? 
that's turtle chat. Nice turtle chat. Oh, I'm gonna chat to a turtle. Don't chat to that turtle. I'm gonna ch chat to the turtle. Don't chat. There he is. Hi, turtle. No. I'm chatting to the turtle. Oh, he's a minor. So we are developing another game, which has just kind of happened. They were like, okay, we'll go and have a talk about it, and then they just started talking to me as if the game was in production. So like, the game's in production. Uh, we're making <laughs> we're making another game, um, which is very exciting. I will tell you more about it uh, as I have more to show, but I'll, I won't be too secretive. So you'll probably want to get context clues from looking at things I'll film, but yeah, yeah, we're making another game and uh, exciting. I shaved my sideburns off this morning by accident uh, and I'm really upset about it because I'm on camera tomorrow. Fuck. <laughs> so I'm on my way to set for the first sketch I'll have filmed in a year and I'm very nervous. I'm very rusty. Uh, I have been in a great place creatively, but I'm hoping I can pull it off. But my Uber driver happened to be listening to some like hustle culture real rise and grind uh, YouTube videos. So I guess I'm fucking pumped now, all right? I guess I'm I'm gonna surround myself with positive vibrations and I will be rewarded by the universe. This is a look. It's actually the ninja way. Uh, like did that. you go to RADA? No, I, I wasn't accepted into RADA. Ah. Uh, Thanks for- Why? <laughs> Eddie was so behind oh, schedule. You should... <laughs> Come on. It's very much an underhand- hey! Whoa! And that's what I get for calling him out. I've dropped the jam. This is a nice couch. Not for long. It's not a nice couch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get his ass. That's the worst thing you've ever said to me. Wow. And that's, that's a long way. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, it's a, like, <laughs> oh, God. This hey. is like. Holy it smells crap. tasty. This is, is it like, just? This is like Rafiki anointing Simba. It is time. <laughs> This sucks. This is the worst thing I may have done ever. This is this is gonna get you on a list. Yeah, and I deserve to be on it at this point. This is horrible, and it really isn't staying on. Um, <laughs> I think. How, should, how am I gonna drop this baby? I think it's funny if I drop it on its head. There you go. Often do. That would be accurate. Yeah. This is more. This is looking more like a. Yeah, you know, Roswell discovered photo of an, yeah. an autopsy. <laughs> I told you to get jam. Why have you got jelly? Look, I thought it'd be funnier. <laughs> I don't know why. <sighs> Definitely bounced to the side. Yeah, face went wrong. That right? was foul. Babies. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's gotta be it. That's it's gotta be so it. unpleasant. All right, look, I'm just gonna say it. I'm having an affair. Oh no, ninjas! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? All right, I'm just gonna come clean. I'm having an affair. Oh no, ninjas! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna come clean. I'm having an affair. Oh no, ninjas! Yeah, if I ever try to film an eight page script in just eight hours again, I need someone to come and shoot me in the fucking head. Uh, because that ran over by four hours. Oh my god. So I've been thinking a lot lately about how I can get back to being a more confident and productive version of myself. And the way I'm thinking of it is that you need to be the main character in your own story. Not just that you need to push yourself to be the main character, but you need to allow yourself to be the main character. You need to advocate for yourself. You need to push uh, yourself forward towards your goals and just keep your story moving and, and make it entertaining, right? Approach life like you are a protagonist. Conduct yourself in a manner befitting of a main character. However, I think you also need to do this with the humility and understanding that you are still a side character in everyone else's story. So be the main character in your own life, but accept uh, and embrace that you are a side character in everyone else's. And what I mean by that is basically figuring out when it's a you episode, if that makes sense. When it's a you episode, when this is a, a key moment in your story, in your plot, yeah, you want, you need to be the fucking main character. You need to be moving towards your goals and, and, and all this stuff. However, when you're in someone else's episode, you're just a side character. You, 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 you need to be a support role, maybe comic relief, uh, a love interest, uh, if you're lucky, but you do not want to push uh, the limit on your presence and how much the focus is on you, um, or else you will become the antagonist in their story, right? So yeah, main character in your own life, 
support role in other people's because if you try to bring too much main character energy into someone else's life you become the antagonist you become the bad guy uh, you're stealing the spotlight you're making things about you and you're making their life harder and there's definitely a fine balancing act between those two when I was when I was younger I was very arrogant and and aggressive and I made a lot of enemies and I hurt a lot of feelings but I was still very pro productive and I got a lot of shit done and I had a lot of confidence and I want to figure out how to get back to the, the confidence and the productivity without the, the arrogance basically be the main character without being the antagonist it makes sense in my head I think if you have kids though uh, you, you, you accept that you're no longer the main character in even your own story at least for a little while it's like taking a, a bump in uh, pay uh, and first billing you're not even playing your original role anymore you're now playing a new character called like dad or mum. I think that some parents don't quite maybe realize that and, and that's how you get parents that are just raging narcissists because they're like resentful that the spotlight's off them and they become the antagonist in their kids stories because they're still trying to be the main character all the time. Is that a thing? Is this a thing? Am I just losing my fucking mind? I'm getting very introspective lately. That's what this year is apparently. It's thinking about life, the universe, the future. Maybe it was better when I was just depressed and felt like there was no point in anything. At least that was, you know, consistent storyline. <laughs> Cannibalism is fucking disgusting. Fuck you. Yeah. So pretty. Are you affected by these cats? I'm very affected by those cats. <laughs> Yo, we got lamp. Vintage glassware. Hang on, you bought those new a week ago. Nice. Nice. Oh, wow. This is the most conspicuous thing I've ever walked around with. Getting a lot of looks. Big oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. You don't need to make it a spawn, it's fine. Oh, but look how pretty it is. It's oh. No, they're not paying us. Big jizz. So we're back up in Charlie's hometown because uh, I'm dog sitting while her family takes a hospital visit. All of them, the whole lot, they're all going. And we're back in a pub that I don't think I've been in since early last week. So very weird. You know what Pokemon Go did? Pokemon Go guaranteed that I have a memory of every single inch of every single place I've ever been. Because if I found a Pokemon there for the first time, that shit got stored into long-term memory. I found my first Skarmory over there, and there was a child who was also there catching it, and he was like 12 and really confused why a grown adult was being so fucking lame. Which is fucking rude. But I have so many fond memories thanks to Pokemon Go. The times that I ran and bumped into other people who were doing the same thing. The moments of like humanity and solidarity. The moments of joy found at some random bus stop because there was a fucking Snorlax there. Like Pokemon Go was brilliant. I think that was one of the last times that humanity really connected. I think the next time would be the pandemic where we all had the same experience. But that was still pretty divisive. At least with Pokemon Go, we were all on the same page. We were all having a great time. No, I tell a lie. The next time humanity felt this involved in the same issue was the fucking submarine. Everyone was going on about that. That was a real day. Oh my God. There was something magical about Pokemon Go. You've been here since I was a baby. It's probably as old as I am. I think it's a lot older than you are, Charlie. They only grown to like 50 years. It's still older than you are. Hey, it's Future Tom. Guess what? I never filmed an outro, so uh, this is the outro. See you last month. Bye. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Thank you, patrons. We appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.